ton of food. I'm going to eat all five of these tacos. Can you believe it's only 483 calories? Like just blows my mind. And this is exactly how I was able to lose 70 pounds and keep it off. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you guys loved the last high volume, low calorie dinner I showed you guys. So I thought I would keep going with that and keep showing you guys some of the high volume, low calorie meals that I love. The recipe I'm gonna show you today is out of my brand new cookbook to hit stores, plentifully simple. It is not in stores yet, but it is available for pre-order. I will have all of that linked below for you guys. But this is my favorite book. I am most proud of this one. The recipes, I think you guys are gonna love. It's just tons of high volume, low calorie, delicious plant-based food. So today I'm gonna show you how to make the Jack enchilada tacos out of my cookbook. And guys, this recipe could not be simpler. And it is so, so tasty. And as you guys know, I am a volume eater. You know, my 70 pound weight loss journey was successful because I learned about calorie density density and how to create these high volume, low calorie meals so that I could stay full and satisfied. And here I am years later, still keeping the weight off. So the calories for these tacos are going to be even less for what I'm showing you today than it is in my book, because I just found these corn tortillas at the grocery store that are only 35 calories each. The best I've seen is like 60 calories each. So these are the Mi Rancho brand. And so I found these tortillas at my regular grocery store, but then I was in Whole Foods the other day and I saw them in there as well. Here is an up close look so you guys can see what they look like. They're called Thin Credibles. And they look almost like they're regular tortillas that are 60 or 70 calories a piece. So definitely make sure you grab the thin ones because they're only 35 calories a piece. I hope you guys noticed I dressed up for you again today. I feel like I'll try to keep up the momentum. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not making any promises because I love sweatpants. Okay, so we are gonna start off by dicing an onion. I just say like a quarter of a small onion. That's what I have in my recipe. So, and if you guys aren't already on my email list, then make sure you subscribe and make sure it's not going to your junk mail if you have subscribed and not seen an email from me because I'm gonna be emailing out free recipes from my newest cookbook until it's in stores. So if you wanna be a part of that, then get on my mailing list and I'll have that linked below for you guys as well. Okay, we're gonna dice like this much onion. Okay, now for the meaty part. These, hold on. My eyes are watering. These onions are strong, so I'm gonna move them over here. Okay, let's try again. So for the meaty part of these tacos, I'm gonna be using young jackfruit. I find this only at Whole Foods. I have been told that Trader Joe's also carries jackfruit, which is great. So you just wanna strain and rinse it really well just to get that briny flavor off. And then we're gonna shred it and get the seed pods out. Okay, so here we have our jackfruit. So I'm just gonna get in there and shred it. It kinda turns into like, if you've never used it before, it looks like chicken, it really does. So I'm gonna just shred this with my hands. I am just gonna, you know, get all the pieces out. I'm just gonna shred it up. And then there's these seed pods. They look like this. We don't like these seed pods in my house, so we don't eat them. Actually, my daughter really likes them. <laughs> so we save them for her. But the rest of us would like them out of our tacos. So we just pull them out. If you like them, leave them in. So here you guys can see it looks just like chicken and here are all the seed pods. And you just wanna make sure that you're getting young jackfruit because then it's not gonna be, you know, the sweet fruity flavored jackfruit. You just want it to be the young green jackfruit. That way it can take on the flavor that you're trying to give it. Okay, so my pan is heated up and because the jackfruit does like to stick even to my nonstick ceramic, I am going to lightly spray my pan. I'm not using a ton of oil. That's how you save on fat and calories. So I'm just gonna lightly spray it. You do what makes you happy. It's just enough to help 
the jackfruit not stick and then it browns up nicely. So I'm gonna add my onions. Now I'm gonna add the jackfruit. So you can see that it is browning and it gives it a nice savory flavor. So now that it has browned up, I'm gonna add a half cup of this red enchilada sauce and this one is fat free. And I find this at the regular grocery store and Whole Foods. And this is what's gonna give your tacos all that good flavor. So now I'm just quickly heating up five tortillas so that I can put everything together and show you just how much you get to eat for little calories. Okay, so now I'm just gonna equally divide the jackfruit between all five tacos. I will get the other two over here in just a minute. Okay, so here I have all five tacos. So then I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of guacamole on each one. Now we're gonna put some pico or whatever salsa that you love. And now for the cheese sauce that you guys all know and love. In my book, I use the poblano cheese sauce, which I shared the recipe for in last week's video. But you can put a half cup over all of these. And this whole dish is only 483 calories. Everything that you're looking at here, exactly how it was made. That is a ton of food. I'm gonna eat all five of these tacos. Can you believe it's only 483 calories? Like just blows my mind. And this is exactly how I was able to lose 70 pounds and keep it off. I'm a happy little camper because I get to eat like this. My favorite is showing up to family dinner with extended family and then seeing how much I eat and wondering how I stay lean. So this recipe and others like it, high volume, low calorie, delicious tasting food are all in my new cookbook that's available for pre-order. Remember, Weight loss can be fun, like this is fun. This is fun eating. And everybody's caloric needs are gonna be different. If you are a very petite or very inactive person, you're gonna need less calories for weight loss than somebody who's tall or very active. So you do have to adjust things to your specific body and your activity level, but you can absolutely eat more and lose weight when you focus on low calorie dense foods, just like this one. All right guys, let's get into some tacos. Oh, this is so good. The enchilada, which side should we start with? That one looks yummy. But I'm gonna go with cheese sauce, Andrew. Okay. Mm. it was so good. Do you guys bite one end of your taco and then flip it over to the other end? Mm. The only thing it's missing is pickled jalapenos. These guys. I have four jars in my pantry at all times. Mmm. If you've not tried pickled jalapenos, like those are mild because my kids are weenies, so I don't get the really spicy ones. Just mild. And I find those at the regular grocery store, but... Mmm. Mmm. Next level. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Mm. All right, guys, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have the links below for pre-order for my newest book. And I will also link my website if you haven't signed up for my newsletter. If you want to be getting your sneak peek at some free recipes from my new cookbook, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter and check your junk mail. Make sure it doesn't go to junk. All right, guys, as always, remember to keep this journey about health and not just about the skinny. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. I am no one.